Hey everybody, it's Chris Demetric here from TDW Woodworks. Well, I don't have a build video this week because, you know, the shop is being occupied. I have been waiting and saving my pennies and finally I'm getting myself a new furnace after 20 years. And my guy's here, my man's here getting all ready to do his, his install and he laid out all his tools and I just thought you'd get a kick out of the tools needed that he uses on a regular basis to change out my old tanker of a furnace. So if you're thinking about changing your own furnace, just get these ladies out. These are the what you'll need for the day. And uh, we're just starting the process. So I'll check back with you later when everything is all set and installed and ready to go. And in the meanwhile, I want to show you a couple things that I have built that I didn't shoot a video on. And the first would be my neat little rolling cart I have for my bandsaw. Yeah, I find that making these carts and attaching casters to them is the best way to kind of keep the shop clean and organized. Plus, it also is able to roll it out to the middle of the room. I even do this with sort of my uh, little rolling cart here, my uh, tripod rolling part, cart. Uh, and uh, I do that with all of the tools, and I think it uh, works out pretty good. you got to make sure they're stable so you can, uh, you know, attach them down with lag bolts or uh, any other method you could use. But you want to make sure it doesn't topple over on you. Uh, I went ahead and did that with the uh, joiner as well. Once I did the joiner and planer, uh, put a little angle at it, and things as solid as can be. I don't have to worry about that tumbling over. But anyways, just wanted to check back with everybody uh, and, uh, and let you know that I'll have a build video soon. It's the summer months. A lot of things are going on. So... Uh, I appreciate your patience and we'll get you something soon and uh, check back with you later when I get that brand new Lennox uh, furnace installed and I'll give you the details of that later. Another little project I work on is this little uh, kit here. Uh, this is all of the stuff I need to check my blood sugar. I'm going to make sure the, uh, the diabetes is in check and the blood sugar is where it needs to be. So I have my lances and my test strips and essentially all this is is just a 2x4 that I cut in half. I'll paint that later to make it look a little nicer and uh, you see the inside had been painted and it just I laid the stuff down and cut around it on the scroll saw and it's a nice little way of keeping things organized for testing your blood sugar everything in one shot and easy to get at so that's just a little project I worked on during the week there you know, another little project I worked on was push sticks. And I'm going to thank John Heise here for this pattern. Uh, sometimes you just need a sacrificial push stick to uh, run some stock through the table saw, and this works out really well. Get rid of some of my scrap lumber that's laying around. All right. I just thought I'd show you his toolbox, which he made. I thought that was kind of cool, all out of uh, uh, the steel that they use for uh, duct work. And we're still in the midst of it. They've got it all opened up here. And because it's a high energy efficient uh, furnace, they're going to vent it right out the side of the house here. It's 94% efficient, so it's going to be able to vent right out. He was able to actually recess it inside of my uh, drop ceiling that I put in uh, that's made out of plywood. But he's got all his tools out and he's working on it. And they just called in the order for the steel that needs for the return duct and everything. So he went to pick that up and then he'll finish up the job hopefully a couple more hours and, and it's ready to go. So they're getting ready to toss out the old furnace and I asked them what's going to happen to it. He says it's going to throw it out in the trash and I said well I'll take the old blower motor. I can do something with it whether it's an air filtration system or maybe to drive a, a disc sander but use it for something. Well, it's been 23 years since the last new furnace was put in this house, so hopefully this will last at least another 23 years, or forever, I'm hoping. But anyways, I think they did a good job. He's got everything all hidden up behind the, uh, uh, the ceiling, and it gives me a little bit of extra floor space that wasn't there before. And uh, I think it, all in all, was pretty good. Here's the side view of it, and... Uh, now it looks like that hot water tank's sticking out. Well, anyways, that's done as well as the um, uh, push sticks that I made earlier. I got them uh, all uh, finished. I just used a little uh, 
uh, boiled linseed oil. I think they came out pretty good. I'll have one and I'm going to lose one and throw one out by mistake and at least four of them should last me a good year or so. Well, thanks a lot for your patience during this uh, transitional period and uh, I'll post videos as quickly as I make them and thanks for watching. It's Chris Demetric from TDW Woodworks. Have a great day.